Did you know that nearly half of participants in a Google research study denied permissions to an app at least once? And 15% reported they uninstalled an app because it was asking for permissions when they didn't understand why or felt those permissions were not required. Permission requests should make sense to users. You may only request permissions that your app needs. Per Google Play policy, if your app requests the use of permissions of personal or sensitive data, you'll complete a permission declaration form in the App Content section of Google Play Console and require approval from Google Play. These forms will automatically appear when specific sensitive permissions are detected in your app manifest. In order for users to make an informed privacy decision and for your privacy practices to be clear, all Google Play apps need to have a privacy policy that discloses how you treat sensitive and user device data. Make sure your privacy policy is available on an active URL, references your app, and specifically covers user privacy. The privacy policy must be clearly labeled as privacy policy in the URL or title, and within the body of the privacy policy for the users to identify that they are going through the details on what sensitive user and device data the app will be collecting. The privacy policy must, together with any in-app disclosures, comprehensively disclose how your app collects, uses, and shares user data, including the types of parties with whom it's shared. Specifically, if the app uses background location, then the privacy policy must include information about the app's usage of location data. You should consult your own legal representative to advise you of what's required. When personal or sensitive user data is used by the app or sent off the device for purposes that are not clear to the user, then you need to prominently disclose it in your app. To meet the policy requirements, it's recommended that you reference the following example format for prominent disclosures. This app collects location data to enable feature one feature 2, and feature 3, even when the app is closed or not in use. Here's an example of a prominent disclosure of an app accessing the user's location in the background. The in-app disclosure must be displayed in the normal usage of the app and not require the user to navigate into a menu or settings, describe the data being accessed or collected, and explain how the data will be used. In this example, the developer displays a prominent disclosure to the user describing the data being accessed and how it's being used. Then the user has granted consent via the runtime permission prompt. For background location permission in Android 11 and newer versions, it will direct users to an update settings menu where the user can select their specific access levels, including allow all the time. Be familiar with the types of permissions user and device data that SDKs or third-party libraries handle. Thanks for your help creating a safe user experience that protects user privacy.